All right, here we are back in the shop for part four. And here's my dad gluing up some uh, Karina, some Limba for two-piece body. That's a high-tech glue spreading tool. Yeah. Check out this beautiful squeeze out. That's a nice, nice looking line of squeeze out. Yep. Even. So we've got three of these bodies and uh, they're all clamped up and drawing. And meanwhile, I'm uh, cutting out the profile, a rough profile of one of the mahogany blanks. And uh, here my dad has just spread some glue, this time with a real spreader. And now we're clamping the uh, maple tops to the mahogany bodies. We're doing this two at a time. And as you can see, we're using big chunks of um, cut-off hardwood, in this case mahogany, uh, for clamping calls to get even pressure applied everywhere. And there it is. And that will sit and dry. And after it's dry, we pull the clamps off and um, are routing it now to its final shape. Now what you see here is the proper sequence for routing without tear out. Um, when you go against the grain uh, I, I go um, in a direction that's called downhill and uh, here I'm going with the grain and then I'll stop just before I hit right there and I go downhill on this side. And that avoids tear out. After this is all routed, the uh, sides get sanded, of course, and you know, we'll get rid of the burn marks that way. Also, as you notice, I'm only routing a little bit at a time, perhaps an eighth of an inch. Another, uh, another way to avoid any kind of tear out. Yeah, it's time consuming, but um, you don't want this piece you know, spinning in your hand or tearing out. That's one pass done.